Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today. I hope you guys' day is going all well. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Adept Supreme bot. So let's jump right into it. So guys, if you guys have got this from a restock, you guys want to go to your PayPal email. Your license key should be there with the download link and the Discord link. Join the Discord. Very supportful, very helpful in my opinion. I've learned a lot from that Discord. You guys want to download the application, type in your license key, then you should be at this stage. So double click to open it. Give it a second here, it should load up any minute now. So guys, it took a second to load up there. If you guys are seeing a white box, it's because I'm covering my license key. If you guys are making videos about the Adept Supreme bot, you wanna make sure you do cover your license key because you don't want people stealing your license key, selling it and stuff like that. So as you guys can see, there's a Google login button and deactivate button. I'm gonna explain what those two buttons do. The Google login button will simply log into your Google. It's very, very simple meaning about that. You log into your Google and you log into an account that you regularly use. That's pretty old to be fair because the older it is, the easier it is for the drops. And now I'm gonna explain later when we get to tasks why you need an old account. If you click deactivate, this will deactivate your license key on this program. And the license key is still useful. You guys can use this on a different computer. So let's say, I don't know, you're gonna go travel to a different country and you wanna call policy in a different country. You click deactivate on your home PC, go onto your laptop, download the application through the email and type in the license key on there and your bot will go on there. So that's what the activate button is. Now for the Google login box, all you guys wanna do is click hit Google login and it will bring up this little box right here, as you guys can see. Then you guys wanna log into your Google account. Make sure this is a Google account that you guys regularly use. Once again, type in your email, type in your password. I am blurring this out because I don't want you guys to know my email or password. So type in your email and password here. And then choose a YouTube account you regularly use, which I'm going to do right now and boom there you go you are logged in and now we can move on it's now moving to profiles basically what this is is setting up your profile so let's go ahead and set up a profile here let's for the purpose of this video video test two i've already made a uh, profile called video test because i was testing something out before so video testy if you guys are setting yourself for the first time just name it like personal that's what mine's named if you guys look there personal just ignore that personal that's what mine's name. Now, you guys wanna go through and name everything here, you know, just type in whatever you wanna type in, your address, your city, your zip code, wherever you live, and the, um, the state province. And then for your card number, type in your card number. These are the available card types. We have Visa, American Express, MasterCard, Solo, and PayPal. So if we go to expiry date, you know, type in your expiry date, type in the year, type in your CVV. Then what you guys are gonna do is hit save. And now what that will do is it has saved a profile that you guys can actually use for your tasks. If you guys wanna load a profile, all you guys gotta do is select a certain thing and click load and it will load up the profile so you guys can make changes. So if you guys wanna change your Visa card number, by all means, go ahead and click save to save all changes. Click delete if you wanna delete the profile. Now let's move on to proxies. Hopefully that is very simple for you guys. You guys can go back in the video if you guys wanna specifically ask anything and if you guys want to ask any questions let me know in the comments down below now moving on to proxies if you guys are using proxies for this drop again down to preference if you guys want to use proxies for this drop this is where you type them in so let's say this is a proxy and i click enter that separates one proxy from another so let's type again as you guys can see on the second screen i have created two proxies i've wrote in two proxies if you guys are buying proxies i'll leave some links down below that are reliable usually proxies last for three days for the drop so there you go so now what they've added is a test feature so if you click test this will test that this proxy is actually a thing as you guys can see i actually typed in gibberish so obviously that is not a proxy x's will come up for the results so what you guys can do let's say you've got like 100 200 proxies what you guys can do to wait like limit time and limit errors in the drops at the time you can click clear fail as you guys can see it cleared all the failed proxies which is all of them because i typed in gibberish for all of them if you guys want to clear all your proxies you guys might be saying to yourself why would i ever want to do that basically some proxies that you can buy only last for the day so you want to clear all of them afterwards because they won't work so if you guys forget to do that and you go to next week and you buy more proxies and put them in there's a chance that your task will use the old proxies and it won't work and you guys do not want that so once you type in your proxies you want to hit save once you hit save what that will do is will assign a random proxy to your task so when you guys are trying to copy your items, it will assign a proxy from this list to every task that you actually create. So let's actually move on to tasks. Here is the task screen, a part of the version 1.0.6. This might be outdated when you guys watch it, but by all means, 
go check in the description i will actually create a playlist for every new update for every bigger update that the developers actually release for this program so i'm going to break down everything on the screen it may look a tiny bit complicated but don't worry it's simple it's easy follow through and follow exactly everything i'm saying so as you guys can see there's a bunch of headers the hashtag means ha the number of tasks so one two three four five that kind of goes like that the profile the profile is what i talked over there so let's say you're trying to call for your friend your mom your dad your sister and your brother basically create profiles for all all of them and you guys can cop on separate profiles your category is basically a t-shirt your hoodie your backpack whatever the product is the keywords for keywords guys if you guys actually bought this on restock and you guys didn't buy this privately with no discord if you go to the discord one day before the drop they actually release keywords for you guys so if you guys are wanting to get a certain thing go there the developers release keywords you guys can check the keywords and you guys will be good for the drop for color you type in the color you want size small medium large extra large proxy if you want to use a proxy or not delay i will get into the delay when we're setting up the add new task and status is status whether this is running it's checking out it's failing the payment was successful so on and so forth so let's click add new task this GUI will pop up and basically you choose your profile so I'm gonna go with the profile we create in this video which is video testy there you go that's assigned your payment information your email your name your address everything like that then you guys want to click category and you guys want to choose what you're going to go for so let's head to this website this is actually a drop list for the next drop that's coming out tomorrow for me personally right now it is the 19th of August so this is the next drop this is the renewal for fall winter of 2018 for supreme so for, for the purpose of this video we're gonna go with the madonna t so let's go back to the program give me a second here let's type in madonna because the discord actually did tell me the keyword for this was madonna so we go to category we go to t-shirts there you go t-shirts madonna color i don't know i'm feeling a black one so let's go for black you want to make sure you actually fill something in for black if you don't fill anything for color the bot will actually randomize what color it goes for so you could go for something you completely don't want like olive or yellow so you want to make sure you choose a right color obviously certain colors that are popular will be harder to get but i have a i have a lot of faith in this bot and i am sure you guys will be able to cop with this bot so then you want to go to your size small medium large as i mentioned before so let's type in iron or large there you go now check out delay i did say i would get to this when we add new tasks so check out delay is basically down to preference once again this basically means when you run all your tasks after so seconds so let's say i don't know two seconds three seconds four seconds after you click run all this task will launch so for this task i'll be customizing right now i tend to go with 1.5 and what i tend to do let's say i'm running 10 tasks per task i will put 0.3 seconds spacing so the next task after this i'll put 1.8 then 2.1 then 2.4 then 2.7 then 3 seconds so on and so forth just to make sure that supreme does not ban you and they don't see like mass bot trying to check out because obviously supreme do have security with their website hence why you have to change your payment information your name your email and literally everything if you're trying to cop the same of the same product so make sure that varies and make sure there's a spacing between each task once you guys are done you guys want to click save and boom there you go it's a sign looking nice in the gui one thing i want to say the actual gui for this bot is very very nice props to developers for making this now let's move on to the final things of today's video the bottom bar now you guys might be thinking what the hell is going on here i'm gonna break it down for you guys so let's go right to left so as you guys can see it says run every these are the days of the week as you guys know and then this is the time so if you guys are running for this bot as you guys do know supreme does drop at 11 so you guys will type in 11 11 a.m run every typical thursday but obviously the renewal is on monday so it's really down to your choosing whatever day you're gonna go for so let's say thursday 11 a.m boom there you go but personally i'm gonna give you guys all the tips i can for this video so you guys have a very very high chance of copying with this bot so i'm gonna go with monday because obviously i'm trying to go for the renewal and as you guys can see it does not have a seconds option so far for version 1.0.6 so far the bot does not have a second option if you guys are watching this six months from now it may have that i'm just emphasizing that this bot does not have it currently if you guys are watching the video and it has it nice that's good for you currently it does not have it so my only option currently is to run manual so make sure you guys go ahead and clear that oh i highlight everything there so make sure you guys go ahead and clear that so it doesn't really like launch at a random time 
So they burn it on a random date where you're not going to be cupping and there you go. So if you guys want to cup at like 10, 59, 50, which is a typical time I go for you guys and hit your clock on your windows, for windows personally, they have the hours, minutes and seconds there. So you guys can actually just time this. So let's say you're going to go for 50, uh, 48. Uh, what I usually do is hit out and boom, there you go. That literally takes two seconds. You launch it and then everything should be good. However, there's one last thing before you can cop the item from Supreme. Cop the tokens. You guys might be asking yourself, what is a capture token? I'm gonna break it down for you guys right here, right now. So basically what a capture token is, it's the result of these two buttons working together. So let's break down what watch YouTube is. Let's click watch YouTube, just go away. Trust me guys, you guys are gonna be able to watch YouTube on this bot so you guys can cop. So go to your search bar, type in black screen. This is personally what I do. I got to like a 24 hour video. As you guys can see, I've actually watched it before. Obviously we have to play an ad, so give this a second here. Yes, let's prove uh, let's prove this ad real quick. There we go. But it's the lowest quality, so it uses the least amount of network and bandwidth. Now let's minimize that. Boom, there you go. Run that 10 minutes before I drop. Personally, that's what I do. 10 minutes before I drop, I start running that. Now you guys might be asking yourselves, what does that do? Basically, watching YouTube on your Gmail that we actually sign into on the settings, what that will do is will collect cookies onto your account. So when you send the bots towards the Supreme website, that will prove that it's more human than a robot. But obviously, it's a robot in this case. So we're trying to trick the Supreme website. Now, you guys might be asking yourself again, what does that still do? So basically, when you guys are copying items from the Supreme website, you need to solve a capture to verify you're human. So let's say I have 60 tasks. You will need 60 capture tokens to do all those 60 tasks. So let's say, well, for the purpose of this video, I have one task. So I will need one task if I want to execute this. So I click solve captures, I don't know, two minutes before I drop because each capture token lasts two minutes. So the GUI pop up very nice, like here. As you guys can see, I'm getting, I got three capture tokens. I'm going to get another one here. No, I didn't. So I got three capture tokens there without doing anything. You guys, basically, what that does is as I was running YouTube, I had a more chance of getting one hit tokens. So if you get one hit tokens, it's easier to cop. So as you guys can see, I just did that, click verify, boom, there you go. Four capture tokens in the space of 15 seconds. This is what I like about this bot. When there's only one tile to hit, it does it for you. So you can stack up those capture tokens very nicely and very easily. Now that I've covered everything in the bot, I've left the most controversial thing to last, proxies. Now, in your profile, Basically, you have the option to use a proxy or not. Now, personally, I don't use proxies for Supreme Drops. I run mine on a server. So if you guys want to use a proxy that you've typed in the proxies over there, hit your proxy and it will use a proxy from proxies. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you guys use a proxy or not. Personally, my preference, I don't use proxies for Supreme Drops. I don't see the need, but you guys do you. If you guys don't want to use proxies and you're using my way or the way most people do, Basically, what people do is you have a fast enough speed connection and you have a good computer. When I mean when I, when I say good computer, I mean like an i5 with a good graphics card and you have a good connection. That means you guys can literally just run the task and you should be fine. Personally, what I do is I run off a server. So if you guys are wanting to know how to run a server, I will not explain how to do it in today's video. If you guys are part of the Adept Supreme Discord, it's actually in one of the information tiles that you can go there and you can set up your own dis uh, your own server for absolutely free. If you guys want me to make a video on how to make a server for this bot and other bots, please let me know in the comments down below. If this video hits 20 likes, I will actually do a tutorial for that because it's a slightly tedious thing. But once you set it up, it's really easy to use and very, very effective in supreme drops so guys i think i have covered literally everything i can currently part of the version 1.0.6 update if you guys did enjoy today's video please smash a like down below if you guys are new please subscribe i will be live streaming supreme drops when they do happen if you guys really want this bot trust me personally from talking to developers and the people in discord this bot is going to do big things so i want you guys to go ahead and follow them down below on their twitter turn on mobile notifications for all their twitter so you guys are ready for a restock guarantee you guys you will be disappointed with the results of the bot by lifetime honestly this bot is very very nice i like it as well i'm going to be testing it live tomorrow so if you guys are interested in that to see how the bot runs there you go they're going to be doing that live we're going to see how this bot goes if you guys did enjoy the video please drop a like i'm gonna catch you guys next time peace out